You're still watching News 360. Time now for Mission. Mission is sponsored by Star Ghana with support from UKA, Danida and the EU. Health workers are at a CHIPS facility at Isaman Kakraba in the Takwan Suyayim municipality of the Western Region continue to run a shift system with a community's information center. Stanley Niblo reports nothing has been done about the situation after TV3 Mission reported on it in February this year. Isaman Kakraba is one of the fastest developing communities in the Takwan Suyayim municipality. It has increased population, but social amenities are inadequate. Access to health care, one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, is not easy. The community's information center also hosts the CHIPS compound. The facility, which is overstretched, has only primary health needs being catered for by staff. As a result, not all drugs can be administered. Provision of health care and the running of the information center are done on shift basis. This has been the practice for three years. The drug peddlers are not ready to stop using the information center to market their wares, and this is affecting the operational hours of the chips compound. In February this year, TV3 Mission reported on the situation, but district authorities say funds to decouple the chips compound from the information center has been a challenge. The community, which depends on proceeds from the information center, could not help the situation. Isaman Kakraba is not within the catchment areas of the gold mining firms, so the community depends solely on the assembly for their development. Municipal Health Director for Takwa in Swaim, Emmanuel Afel Kum, is confident the assembly would intervene. The future of the health sector is bright in as much as we are showcasing the gaps in service demand in the area of health infrastructure and the area of bridging the gap in geographical access to service delivery. And so we expect that stakeholders within and outside to see the need for us to improve on the infrastructure need of Takwan Swaim Health Sector. Municipal Chief Executive for Takwan Swaim, Gilbert Kenneth Asma, is hopeful the assembly will impact the people. The assembly will have to, you know, um, do a lot of projects there because they don't fall within the catchment areas of the mining company, so they cannot go and, you know, do projects there. In spite of the challenges, health personnel are doing their best to save lives but stakeholders would be required to do more to address the issues confronting the health sector. Construction of school blocks and a chips compound at Bobobo in the Takwan Suyayim municipality of the Western Region have stalled at various stages. Again, uh, Stanley Niblo reports health personnel posted to the community operate from a cubicle. Bobo Bo Bo is one of the suburbs of Takwa with increased population. The community is carved as one of the 33 chips zones in the municipality and has had health workers posted but has no physical structure. Health workers were ejected from an apartment rented by the community to aid provision of health care to residents. A member of the community then intervened. He offered this cubicle where health care is now administered to residents. The facility lacks space. As a result, provision of health care has been limited to reproductive care. We deal with just reproductive health. That is the only thing that we can render to people in this community. This place is very small. So when it comes like we have many clients, people come for health care. Because it's small, we can't take care of them at the same time. Some have to stand outside before we can give care to some people. In February this year, TV3 Mission reported on the state of care at the facility, but there hasn't been a change. 
a community-initiated project which is to help address the problem, has stalled at the foundation level for more than four years owing to lack of funds. Another Get Fund School project has stalled after eight roofing in 2016. Assemblyman for the Green Compound Electoral Area, Kenneth Boabing, is worried about the stagnation of the project. We've been to, uh, able to manage to bring the MCE and the uh, Member of Parliament here. And they know our concern, but it seems nothing. You know, it has fallen on them years. So. The project that you are talking of it has found its way out of the Assembly budget. Kenneth Boabing said Bobobo. Bo, Bo, has been added to the catchment area of Goldfields Ghana Limited and is confident that the situation would improve. Takwan Swai Municipal Health Director Emmanuel Afil Kum said addressing the health needs of Bobobo will require external support. Bobobo is still operating from the old premises that you found them. There, there had not been any plan to provide a separate chip compound for the bubble bo -bo chips. We have information from the community leadership that an allocation of a working space will be provided from a community center that had been provided by the company. Uh, and when it has been handed over to the community, the community will make available uh, office space within that structure for the provision of uh, health services. And so that is what we are waiting on for Bobobo situation. In this part, Chief Executive for Takwa in Swain, Gilbert Kenneth Asma, said the assembly has budget constraints. We have our budget. There is a percentage for infrastructure that is aside education. There is a percentage for everything. But normally what we do is we don't use the IGF, for instance. We don't say IGF is for, for spending. We ensure that the chunk goes into infrastructure development. Bobobo, like other underserved communities in the Takwan Swain municipality, will require swift intervention to solve its health and educational needs. And that's it for Mission Tonight's Mission is brought to you by Stagana with support from the UK, Danida and the EU.